McDonald's employees outside the restaurant in northwest Atlanta. Atlanta police confirmed they're looking into the incident on Northside Drive. The victim shared her story with News Edge reporter Eric Perry. This isn't the first story that we've covered at this McDonald's. The woman says she simply wanted a cheeseburger, but not the additional beef that came with it. And this was all on the clock. None of them were off the clock. This woman didn't want to share her identity after what she calls a terrifying incident at the McDonald's on Northside Drive Friday. She claims she was with a group of friends picking up a mobile order in the drive through that evening around 9. We asked, can we make another order? And I asked for a double cheeseburger with no pickle and no onion to order. She says there was a disagreement at the first window about what made-to-order meant and paying with exact cash. She said the attitude from the employees began to sizzle. As we were beginning to pull off, one of the workers said, I'm spending oil on your face. And she said, you are irritating by the time they pulled to the second window, they asked the manager for a refund, and that's when the employees weren't loving it. The manager proceeds to say, come inside and get a refund. So we're like, cool. So we goes around, and as we're going around and we park, we're about to get out the car with our friends to go get her refund, and we started hearing, get out the car, get out the car. That's when one of the workers, the McDonald's workers, pulls out a mace can and sprays me. And McDonald's workers proceeds to come out and started jumping in and stuff like that. And then right after the incident happens, the McDonald's manager takes the people that assaulted us home. Atlanta police confirmed they responded and are investigating. This woman says she wants those inside to be held responsible. The manager never calls the police. He never checks on us. He never asks us. We okay. We never got the refund. None of that. And Mace was in my eyes. I was begging for milk. And the woman says she went to the hospital with bruising and deep cuts. We did reach out to McDonald's. The owner tells us safety is the number one priority, but refer us to Atlanta police as this is an open investigation. In Northwest Atlanta, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News.